Set Theory Notation video from MathCelebrity.com. My name is Don Subsick. I am the founder of Math Celebrity. And I'm going to walk you through some set theory notation problems and notes. So let's start with what is a set? A set is a collection of elements. And set theory notation aims to show how we express the set. So elements of a set can be numbers or things. We write a set using braces, and the braces contain all the elements in the set, and we separate each element in the set by a comma. So let's walk through some examples of sets. As I said, they could be things or numbers. So a set of fruits, for example, we could say apple, cranberry, mango, and orange. Now, I notice I didn't list every single fruit known to man. I'm just giving you an example set of fruits. So imagine we, we go on a picnic or we go to the market and we come back and we've got a little basket full of these four fruits. That's a set. We can have a set of coins. So penny, nickel, dime, quarter, half dollar. And then finally, an example set of numbers from 1 to 10. So we just list out all the numbers from 1 to 10. And as you see, in the three sets here, we've got the braces notation, and each element is separated by a comma. So let's look at set theory notation elements. An element of a set is an object within the set. We can also say it belongs to a set. So let set F be the set of fruits. So from our previous slide, we had the four fruits, apple, cranberry, mango, and orange. So each of the four fruits are elements, and we write this using the symbol, it looks like an E, but that means element. And so here's how we write all the elements of the set. So apple is an element of F. Cranberry is an element of F. Mango is an element of set F. We can say F or set F. And finally, orange is an element of F. So in set theory, there's always a universal set. It could be the set of all things in the universe, or it could be a set that you define as all potential possibilities. And so the universal this set is denoted as U. And again, it's a set of all possible values that you define. Now let's look at the empty set. This is pretty much the opposite. The empty set is, is exactly how it sounds. It's a set with no elements. And it's denoted as, it looks like a zero or an O with a slash through it. <clears throat> and as we write this out, it's we've got the braces, but notice that there's no elements in there. So whenever you hear empty set, this is what it means. Another piece of set notation is such that, and here's how that works. We use the vertical symbol, it looks like a brace, or, a, or almost an L, to denote the phrase such that. And so we have, let's do an example. Set A is the elements all x such that x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 3. So using the such that, let's build that set notation. And we're going to read this as set A is the all set A is all elements where x is greater than or equal to zero and less than three. Now the set A is written as zero, one, and two. And notice we don't include three because above in the such that there wasn't a less than or equal to sign. So it's zero, one, and two. Now let's talk about unions of sets. So the union of two or more sets, you need at least two sets to have a union, you could have more, combines all elements of all the sets. Or all elements that belong to one or more of the sets within the union. So let's take two sets, A and B. Our notation is A union B, that's how you read that, and we use a capital U symbol to denote a union. Let's say set A is the numbers 1, 3, and 5, and set B is the numbers 2, 4, and 6. So what we want to do is build A union B. And A union B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Notice I've color-coded the elements. 
So 1, 3, 5 was an A, 2, 4, 6 was an B. The union is all the elements from all the sets within the union. Now it's worthy to note if A and B both contain the same number, let's say they both had 7, you only include 7 once in the union. So you want unique elements contained within all the sets within the union. So we talked about union, let's talk about intersection. You can think of union as or, A or B. Intersection is the opposite, it's A and B. So the intersection of two or more sets takes elements in all those sets. Or stated another way, all elements which belong to all the sets. So again, let's take two sets, A and B. Our notation is read A intersection B, and it kind of looks like an upside down U. Let's take set A as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And we'll take set B as 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And what we want to build is A intersection B, or read out in a sentence, all elements in set A and in set B. So A intersection B is 3 and 5. As if you notice, the element 3 is in set A and B, and the element 5 is in both sets A and B. So that's our intersection. Intersection is also what do they have in common. Now let's talk about subsets. So a subset is a set of elements which are all an element of another set. And let's, let's give you more detail on that. So let's take two sets, set A and set B. The notation is A subset B. So as an example, set A is going to be the elements 1, 3, 5. Set B is going to be the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, we want to know, is A a subset of B? Yes, it is, because all elements in set A exist in set B. So the elements 1, 3, 5 are all included in set B. So that means A is a subset of B. Let's talk about complements. So earlier we discussed the universal set U, which is all elements within the universe which you define. The complement of a set is everything not in the set, but in the universal set. So let's define a universe, and we have a set A. The, the complement is going to be everything not in set A within the universe. So let's take set A. The complement is denoted as A superscript C, or A and it's a little apostrophe, it's a complement. So let's take A as the elements 1, 3, 5. Let's take A complement as any other number but 1, 3, 5. So let's say we want all the numbers in the universe, or all the integers. A complement is going to be any other number but 1, 3, 5. So within A complement we'll have 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, and so on. Next, let's talk about cardinality. The cardinality is the number of elements in our set, or you can also say it's the count of the elements in the set. How many elements are in a set? So if we have set A, the complement is denoted as A complement with two braces around it, or the number sign A, meaning the number of elements in A. So let's take set A as 1, 3, 5. The, the, I'm sorry, I said complement before, it's the cardinality. The cardinality of A is 3, because set A contains 3 elements, 1, 3, and 5. So that is it for set notation. And I want to thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.